Four games in four days. That's something no team in the history of the Missouri Valley Conference has ever done at Arch Madness. Though, that truly isn't the mindset of this Sycamore team. It's all about one game Thursday night with Valpo. And these are young guys. I mean, their tension span isn't that long. I can't, I can't think about four games in four days. Um, and we haven't done it, you know, in the, in the conference season. We haven't done what we need to do. I can think of no better time to start now, but all I want those guys thinking about and focusing on is, is a very good Valpo team. I mean, uh, all season long, we, we've had uh, good games. Um, you know, some, some of the games that we've lost have been close, that we just made simple mistakes. And uh, just limiting those mistakes could easily let us win those four games. But right now, we're just focused on uh, Valpo and uh, doing what we got to do for them. So we got to all week for that till Thursday. So focus on them right now. It's kind of a new season now. Um, you know, going on, you lose and you're done. Uh, it's as simple as that. So you know, you, you got to put two games together. You got to put three games together. You even got to put four games together this week. Um, so you know, we don't we don't want to go out the wrong way. We know what we're capable of. Uh, you know, I think we showed it last game. Some pretty good glimpses of it. Um, I think we'll carry it over. So. You hear it all the time how hard it is to beat a team three times come to conference tournament play. Coach Landing looks at it totally different. It's not just hard to beat a team three times, it's hard to beat them once. You know, and we got them here on a night that they weren't at their best. At their place, either team could have won that thing. We did enough uh, when and Tyree carried us a little bit offensively, but they're scary. They're, they're like anybody else you would get ready for. Uh, very talented players, got a good system. Uh, they play hard, you know, they're athletic, and then they got uh, Smith's around the basket, who's just been a terrific player and hurt us every time we played him. So uh, it's no, we didn't win any draw, I know that. So, uh, we're going to have to play very well to win. Sycamores haven't put back-to-back -back wins together since Hawaii, which has been well documented throughout the conference stretch. Despite all of that, this team believes, after Saturday's win against you and I, that they can get on a run this week in St. Louis. I'd say last year I was probably a little nervous. Um, now I guess since I got one year under my belt, uh, that's what kind of went away, the butterflies did. So, uh, you know, just I'm going to treat like every other game, just come out and be prepared um, and ready to go. Got to win Thursday. You know, you got to win Thursday, and it's the teams that really show they want to keep playing. You know, that's a different night. We're not used to playing on Thursday, and hopefully we don't have to worry about that a bunch in the future, but you have to want to keep playing uh, to do it, to advance in a tournament. And um, going through a tournament, it's a lot mental because you don't get the practice time, you don't get a lot of stuff on the floor. So you guys have, that's why Loyola was so good and through the NCAA tournament. You lock into doing your job at both ends of the floor, you lock into the game plan, and then just play hard. Because uh, in tournament ball, basketball, it's the team that makes the fewest mistakes. For more on Indiana State in Arch Madness, there's nowhere else to go. Stay right here at GoSycamores.com.